I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do it. So I just decided last year, like, hey, I'm going to take a dive and I'm just going to try it and see what I can do. Marlo Newhouse Franks never planned on becoming an author. How many of you find all the excuses in the world to not go to sleep at night. <laughs> I like writing. This was a, a personal experience, and I think that's what fueled my desire to share the story. Marlo is the assistant principal at Summit View Elementary. She is also the mother of a boy who struggled to fall asleep at night when he was younger. Monday. I don't want to go to bed, Landon shouted, swirling in the bathtub. I just, one night, pulled a mom trick out of my hat and it worked. And when it worked, I was like, this is a really good idea. And so I've sat on it. I wrote it when he was in kindergarten and just last year decided like, what am I doing? I should do something with this and just kind of took a dive and started the process of self-publishing. Marlo sees her writing as a chance to share what she has learned as an assistant principal, but also as a mother. I have a spirited child. My kiddo's on an IEP. He's got ADHD, dyslexia, all of the things. And I have had to learn a lot as a parent. I know for me, as I struggled with when my child was younger and not knowing and learning and navigating this, having relatable people that could understand and could relate to the same needs that I had made it a little bit better. So what I want to do is take the things that I've learned as a parent and put them into books for families to be able to share with their kiddos. Five, four, three, two, one, Mama said. Landon's eyes began to feel droopy. Mama, he yawned, do they eat popsicles in space? This page here, the very first night, because this is actually the true event of what occurred, um, word for word. This is the page that I had sent. And when she sent this spread, I fell in love. And this is how I knew immediately. I had this vision and I didn't even share any of that of him just kind of sitting on a sun or a planet and just like looking up popsicles and then also him being on the rings of Saturn. Marlo hopes that both parents and students find inspiration in the pages of Popsicles in Space. I hope students take away the idea of creativity and imagination and that anything's possible. For parents, I hope that they see sometimes those random things you pull out of your hat or back pocket work. Marlo has found literary success with Popsicles in Space, and the book has had an incredible impact on her relationship with her son. This created a bond between my son and I. He's in eighth grade. He took the book to school as an eighth grader, which is huge for a middle schooler. Shared it with his friends and was sharing it with his teachers um, and was proud, right, of not only the story of him, but that his mom did this and that his mom wrote a book and that his mom and he had this experience.